Uh, Ganondorf matchup. Mm -mm. And we are starting on what else? Pokemon Stadium, everybody's favorite stage. This is Smash Bros. Everybody loves these goddamn stages. I I was kind of watching Super Nebs actually. If uh, if anybody wants to tell me how that went, I saw Zahime and Ga uh, Gallo. I think is how you see it? your name. I never. Uh, I don't usually watch. Uh, I haven't I haven't seen Gallo play a lot, but his pet's really interesting. But anyway, back to this match. Oh, why did he? He could have just. Oh, if Nation had held ledge, that definitely would have been the stock. He's trying to style on him or something. Uh, this is gonna be really hard for Cage, uh, cause not only is it a... <clears throat> is it a... What was I saying? This is gonna be hard for, not only is it a PR player, Nation, but, uh, Nation also plays with, the uh, Red Ranger a lot, so he, he knows the Ganondorf matchup. You're not exactly gonna be getting anything cheeky on Nation. That guy knows his shit. Other good things to know about Nation, uh, he has a very amazing recovery. The dude almost always makes it back on stage. Oh, nice reverse forward smash. He's really good at edge guarding too. That was a great bear, although he went a bit too deep and ended up killing himself. Dang, apparently switched in drop a single game. That's pretty sick. He plays, uh, I'm pretty sure he's the wolf, if anybody wants to correct me. Really good wolf, as far as I remember. I remember watching him at a uh, Supernova. Supernova. Mm, yeah. Another thing that's really hard for Ganondorf to handle is the uh, fireball from Mario. Can control a lot of space. But Ganondorf, what Ganondorf does have in this matchup is he can kind of avoid dealing with Mario's uh, crazy recovery if he uses a lot of his hard-hitting moves. Ganondorf is. Only needs to win neutral like really once or twice to win or take a stock. Oh wait, blacklisted? Is that to is that today? Is that happening? Oh no, blacklist is happening. Okay. I think blacklist is next weekend, if people want to correct me on that. Down throw fake. Alright, this space though. Again, Nation knows this matchup. Ooh, nice kick. So, he's gonna be getting a D- all the DI on all that stuff. And, so far, Cage is not getting the kills he needs. Uh, of course, it's kinda hard. Uh, Nation has some really great DI on all of, uh, all of these throws, but... Ganondorf's real strong aspect is supposed to be his ability to kill at lower percents, and with Cage not getting that, he's pretty steadily falling behind. This is looking Dunsky's bad. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to go get a piece of paper and write that down. That was sick. That was a great, great dare by uh, Dare at first. Alright, one sec. Couldn't find a piece of paper. Got an envelope instead. Same shit. But anyway, we're gonna be going into game two. Cage is probably gonna want a smaller stage, yeah. Um, means he'll be able to get those kills, deal with less edge guards, which will, which, which it, I think was one of the biggest things getting him down last game. Ooh, nice. Keep him off. Yeah, I think uh, what can be really hard is Mario. Once he gets in, Nation especially can do a lot of damage. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Grab ledge, da Ooh, that was really good, but Mario's really- Oh, nice, that was great too. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. What is it, Balk 49? Oh my gosh, next year's the one year anniversary of the balcony. Wow. Wow! 50th Balk. Mm-mm. Ooh. Oh, got the cape. Got the cape. Alright, so we got Nation. Sorry guys, like I have to <laughs> I have to write stuff down for the Val Combo videos, but I also have to commentate in her own stream. It's really hard to do all those at once. Hopefully somebody else will come commentate soon. This is Cage. This is where's round two. Game
Thank you. Anyway, sorry. I'm gonna try to keep talking. I have to write down two sick combos, though. Two sick combos. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dang. He's actually keeps actually getting those. Oh, scary. He's got a really good leader right now. Uh, cage that is. Oh, that was. Oh my God, he didn't get it. Oh, he didn't even get edge guarded. I'm surprised Nate didn't uh, punish that. That was a risky dare that he total that Cage totally missed. All right, game two. That was it stock one? All right. Hopefully we can get somebody else to commentate. <laughs> it's so hard to do all these at once. Um. Oh, what's up, Venom? I thought you were gonna come today, you silly nerd. Mm -mm. Oh, that was a risky dash attack. Surprised, uh, yeah, there we go. Nation, I feel like Nation should be throwing out more fireballs, but. Oh, there we go. But the stage is pretty small. Hard to throw out a projectile when the uh, opponent can pretty easily get past it and then you're definitely fucked. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Venom. No, it's okay. I, I, I mean, it's no biggie if you don't or don't come. Do or do, go, do not come. Just. It's cool to see homies. Let's see if Cage. Ooh, that was great! Shield of the fired fireball and then uh, punish it with a nice fan. If Cage ooh, doesn't get fucked up, okay. I don't know what uh, Ganondorf's uh, chain grab on Mario looks like, but I don't feel like I've seen Cage do it once this game or this set, so I wouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> Sorry, reading the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if Mario just doesn't uh, get chain grabbed by Ganondorf, or if, <coughs> or if Cage is just not really going for the grab option. It might be just hard with uh, with sorry, blinking on stuff. Again, I really shouldn't be commentating because I have to update stream stuff. But alas, hopefully somebody else can get in here. But um, what was I talking about? Anyway, chain grabs. Not happening. If Ch if Cage can do those and just is not getting the grabs he needs to make that happen, he should definitely consider doing that. Mario, though. <laughs> oh, no. Nation. Oh, goosh. It was pretty hefty. 58% off of one grab. Not one grab, but I guess, well, I don't know. One string. Ooh. Interesting dash attack. Oh, nice fair. See, Cage isn't even behind. Oh, that would have been an amazing dare, I think. But, eh, he was kind of in an awkward spot. Mm -mm. That's the thing with Gandorf is, you know, he really only needs, like, maybe six hits, in theory, to take a stock. If they're all those, like, not counting chain grabs. But if you count chain grabs as, like, a singular hit, I guess. Ooh. But yeah, Nishi really shouldn't be having a too hard a time. He fights Red Ranger on a... I mean, not that Nation practices, but the dude has fought Red Ranger on a pretty regular basis. On at least a weekly basis. Ooh, nice bear. Not, definitely not coming back from that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sorry. Oh, again, doing stream stuff. Trying to commentate. Um, what's happening? Pretty even. Wow. I gotta give it to Cage. Yeah, it looks like there isn't really, especially at mid percents. Definitely not gonna be getting much of a chain grab going. Maybe, I guess, I haven't really seen Cage go for a low percent grab. Maybe he just hasn't been going for that. Ooh, Nation is laying down the pressure. Oh, wow. Mario looking like an acrobat right now, dodging all those. Dodging all those hitboxes. Mm -mm. I can see Red Ranger in the background. <laughs> Probably gonna give Cage a couple, couple tips after this match. Nation's mm. beginning to feel himself. Feel himself? Oh, that's actually a really good fireball, but he got hit by the fair. I think they both got hit by the hitboxes. Ooh, yeah, getting inside B can be a bit, uh, 
Mm, what's the word? Misleading, I guess? It never seems like it's gonna hit you, but the hitbox is actually, like, most of Ganon. So it's kind of like a huge wall flying at you. Mm -mm. I think a lot of people, when they first start fighting Ganon, are always surprised by uh, how big side B, how, how often it'll hit you, no matter where you are. Dang. Yeah, well, you know, Cage did pretty well that game. 